Hi, I'm Bill Griffith, an application engineer with Agilent Technologies. And today I'm going to show you how easy it is to transfer readings from a 344-10A and 344-11A digital multimeter to a PC. What makes these digital multimeters so easy to work with is they have a built-in web server. So I just need a PC with a web browser, no additional software, and a LAN cable to go ahead and make the connection. So let's get started. The first thing I need to do is get the IP address from the instrument. All right, so once I get the IP address, I can enter that IP address into my web browser. And now I'm connected. I can already monitor the front panel of the DMM. And again, this software is actually running inside the DMM. So if I make changes to the front panel, they'll show up on the PC. And if I make changes on the PC, they'll show up on the, the DMM. So let's go ahead and set up to make some burst measurements. So I get a first, I'm going to select the function I want to use. I'm going to make uh, DC volt measurements. I'm going to stick with the auto ranging. And I'm going to use um, a lower resolution so the DMM takes faster measurements. I'm going to set up a trigger delay of one second. And then I'm going to set a sample count of 100. And I'm going to set a 0.02 second um, sample interval. So I'll go ahead and apply my settings. Now I'm ready to start making measurements. So I'll start my burst of measurements. It'll wait one second. Then it's going to measure 100 times. OK, the measurement's complete. I can now view my data. So I'll get the data. And from here, I can cut and paste. So I'm going to copy that data. And I can paste it into um, Excel. So the data is pasted into Excel. And from here, I could do further analysis on the data, or I could um, plot the data. So as you can see, it's really easy to set up and transfer readings from the 344.10a and the 344.11a using the built-in web server. This is great for documenting your results or sharing results with colleagues. Thank you very much.